show you how to set up an APA document, title page, headers, page numbers, margins, and spacing. There are three primary parts to any documentation style, and APA is no exception. These three parts are formatting, in-text citations, and the list of sources. In APA, that is known as the references page. One of the most common questions I get from students is how to set up the formatting of an APA cover page. But formatting goes beyond this. Formatting is setting up the cover page, headers, page numbers, margins and spacing. So I thought I'd put together this little video to walk through how I set up my document in APA formatting style. I cannot emphasize this enough. I sound like a broken record in my classes, I admit, but find a resource that you like when using documentation styles such as APA and keep it next to you while working on your document. There is no way to memorize all of the rules and who would want to since they are always changing. The online tools that automatically convert information to a citation usually include several errors, so I highly recommend that you avoid them. Personally, I like two sources, a print copy of the Publication Manual of the American Psychological Association, or APA, sixth edition is the most current, and the APA style sections of the Purdue Online Writing Lab. Those are the sources that I am using for this video. Please note that there will be minor variations to what I'm showing you depending on what source you use. Your instructor has a final say in what he or she wants to see in formatting, so always be sure to check with them. Okay, so let's start with opening a blank document in Word, which I have done here. We want to start with margins, one inch all the way around in APA. So I will check my margins and I'll just select that, one inch all the way around. Spacing is next. This is a big issue because the default for most word processing software is to add extra spaces beyond a single space setting or a double space setting. Don't ask me why. So it's important to go into the paragraph tab and set both points to zero, which I'll do now. Mine are already set at zero. I did that earlier actually, but a lot of times you'll see that or that even when you have the spacing set at single or double space. So we'll set those at zero. And it is important to go into the paragraph tab and set both points to zero and then to select the spacing that you want. For our purposes, an APA document is double spaced throughout the document, including the title page. Hit OK. All right. Now we've covered the margins and the spacing. So let's set up the title. The title should be centered in the middle of the page. Centered. Simply scroll down hit, by hitting the return key. And now I'm set. Um, the title should be centered in the middle of the title page and it should be detailed enough to let the reader know what is covered in the paper. Subtitles are especially helpful in making the title more detailed. For example, um, my title could be James Patterson Flops. That's an author, um, James Patterson. And then the colon goes after the title before the subtitle and I might say rhetorical analysis of the ineffective thriller Honeymoon. Um, notice that Honeymoon is the title of a book, so I place it in italics. Okay. Um, Larger works or containers, such as books or journals or websites, are placed in italics. Shorter works, those that are inside a container or larger work, such as a chapter title or journal article or web page, 
are placed in quotation marks. That's a common error that I see in students' writing. Now, under the title, I'm going to get rid of the italics. Under the title, I'm going to put my name as the writer. And under this, I can either put the class I'm taking and or the college or university. So I'll put English, actually I'll put writing too. Um, I could put the name of my college or university. Again, that's up to the instructor. Um, I also like to see the instructor's name below that and then the date. I think date's very important. So below that I can put um, Professor Tom Smith. Not very creative, but that's not, that's not my strong uh, suit to be creative, that's for sure. And then the date, uh, 24 November, if I can spell November, 2017 or whatever. So you can put the day, then the month, and then the year. Okay, and as you can see, that is centered on the page. Okay. After setting up the title and identifying information of the writer, let's insert headers and page numbers. So a header is the space one inch from the top of your paper. So often I see students trying to put a header up here, which is at the top of the paper as far as Word allows you to go, but there's still this space here, one inch from the top of the paper, that's your header, and that's where you want to go. So how do you get there? Well, since in APA we need a header with page numbers, what we're going to do is actually open the header in Word by selecting Insert Page Numbers because a header in APA includes page numbers. So you're going to select Insert, Page Numbers, and then you're actually going to select Top of the Page, and then we'll go ahead and have the alignment flush left and then we'll hit OK. Now, that will take you, if you double click next to that, you'll be in the header, okay, and um, with page one, okay. The header on page one of the APA document is different than the headers on page pages two and beyond. So we're gonna click the box at the top. Let's see where that would be here, and that's one thing about using Word, it's always somewhere else. Let's see what we have here. Headers and footers, different first page. So now you are telling the setting that what we do on the first page is going to be different than what we do on the other pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to, again, if it, if it wipes out your page number, that's okay. Just go and do it again, insert page numbers. Again, every version of Word is different, and as long as you can basically get there by clicking whatever buttons you need to do, that's fine. Show number on the first page, I click there, I hit OK. All right, so we are selecting, we are back in the header. Again, I'm going to put different first page. This time I didn't lose it, which is very exciting. Um, see, it happens for me too. And I'm actually putting my cursor right before this number one. And that is where I will, and again, we're on the title page. So this is going to be a little unique. Um, I'm going to put the title, which would be the information before the colon, after I put running Head, I'm going to put the title James Patterson Flops and then I'm going to hit the tab key until that one is over on the right side. Okay, now because I hit different first page, when I go over to page two, Just jump along there for a second so that you can see what I'm doing. I just have the second page, but I don't have the same header because we selected doing something different on page one. 
Okay, so back here. So the header on page one of the APA document is different than the headers on page two and beyond. The pages after the title page should just have the title all in capital letters, flush left, with the page number flush right. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to put all in caps, James Patterson flops, and then I'm going to tab over. It's too many there. And that will give me the different second page. And then if you close out of the header, you're back in the text. If I hit return, you'll see that that should be the case for all of the pages after page two. They should all look like page two, James Patterson flops, page three, and so on. And if you go to the top, you see I still have that different header for page one. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. And as you can see, I had to sort of tinker with it as well. Um, now one more formatting item. After the identifying information on your title page, it is important to insert a page break so that the text starts at the very top of the next page rather than spilling back into the title page. So often students just hit the return key, as I did, to move from page to page, but that is not going to stick once your file is saved or once you start to manipulate your file. So what you're going to do is simply put your cursor after the last line of identifying information on your title page. There it is. And hit the tab insert and then page break. right there and that will put you right to the second page. This will take you to the top of page two. Just be sure to set your alignment now to flush left because we're still centered from the title page. To start a new paragraph you're going to just hit the tab once to start the new paragraph and begin typing your introduction. There we go, and you'll begin. Do not restate the title of your essay. Just go right into your introduction paragraph. After you are done typing the body of your paper, you will begin a new page and add the references page with your list of sources. The title references should appear centered at the top of the page. Like every other page, the references page is double spaced throughout. And that's it. This is pretty much everything you need to know about formatting a paper in APA. There is a nice sample title page online in the website, the Purdue Online Writing Lab, under APA Formatting and Style Guide, General Format. Here it is. For you to look at as well, There it is right there, um, which is another nice example. As always, I hope this video has been helpful.